local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Good morning, it is 615. Welcome to Good Day Dakota. Today is the first day of the deer gun hunting season. It begins officially at noon. And by then, we're looking at a lot of 50s, but our daytime highs will be mainly in the 50s and 60s. A lot of 60s on the map by late afternoon. A very small chance for just a quick passing shower today and some afternoon sun, but the winds are going to be a big factor as we head especially into the afternoon. You can see here in Minot, we're looking at a temperature about 62 this afternoon. That's well above that average of 40. And on this day last year, we set a record in Bismarck at 77 degrees. Today, maybe not setting records, but still well above average by 60, by several points here. We're talking about 20 degrees, uh, almost 63 is what we're looking at. 46 is that average. Now, let's head to rugby where we're seeing a very warm start to the morning, 43. Most of us are seeing these warm temperatures like this. Also in Watford City, 45 degrees for that morning temperature. And most of our temperatures are falling in the 40s. We have seen a dip to the upper 30s off towards the southeast and now in the capital city. Uh, but a lot of 40s out there, even 49 in Minot. So a really warm start. And the winds are pretty light as well, mainly from the south. But as that cold front's moving in, you can see uh, we've got winds increasing behind it. And that's already giving us wind in Bowman and Beach. We're going to have a windy forecast, especially for folks in far western North Dakota. But we're all going to feel the wind today. So the highest wind gusts will be up to 35. Sustained wind speeds 15 to 25. So you'll certainly feel the winds. Highs today are going to be incredible. Upper 50s to low 60s, uh, looking for a very warm ending to this work week. And we've got that cold front bringing a few showers. Something else I wanted to point out. I saw this right before I was about to come on air. And this is something that's probably generated from just enough forcing from this cold front. A tiny little bolt there, a bolt of lightning. So if you're near Golva, if you're near Beach, you might even hear just a little rumble of thunder. And that's coming from the forcing of that, uh, that cold front there as it does traverse to the east. Not expecting really to keep any thunderstorms in this front. Just a few isolated showers. You see the motion that they're going to be making here. Now, the precision cast kind of shows where they're going to be heading. Very light rain if it moves through. Sunshine this afternoon, kind of partly cloudy conditions as we head into Saturday as well. And once we get into Sunday, notice that the clouds are going to build and probably stick around with low pressure moving through, bringing a few scattered showers. Temperatures on Saturday back into the 60s. We are looking at another warm one. In fact, for the entire weekend, we're looking at some pretty warm temperatures, even though we cool to the 50s mainly on Sunday. Dickinson, here's your three-day forecast. Still looking to keep that warm forecast through the weekend with the average high at 46. We'll still be in the mid-50s when we cool on Sunday. And in Williston, also seeing temperatures falling to the low 50s by Sunday. And many will start seeing much seasonable temperatures into the next week with a cooler air mass that wants to be in play here. It also wants to bring in chances for maybe rain and some snow. That's my nut. And here's Bismarck also again seeing the chance for a wintry mix by the middle and end of next week. So moisture is on the way. Now it's the first day of the year gun hunting. It's also a windy one out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much is that going to affect our hunters? Well, I'm not an expert. Yeah. They might like it though. Depending on the direction down. of the wind. Oh, true. Could it they, does. Depends on the bullet. bullet. I suppose bullet. I never thought about the well, bullet. I'm thinking factor. more about the scent. I know that I was. Well, I've, okay, yeah. I'm not a hunter, and there are people throwing <laughs> things with their TV but right now. But your husband is. My husband is, and, and his so family is. You want to not be, I guess, where the deer can smell you or oh, something. Oh, I, I thought it was yeah. Aaron, your husband, yeah. going, <laughs> Where's the deer? Maybe and that the wind's too. throwing them off. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and the wind, I'm sure, is probably a factor as well. But yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about, about how that. that's going to impact. You have them. to kind of set yourself down, right? Yeah. It's part of it. I, I don't know anything about it. And I just show up. I know. I show I up have with a snacks. hound dog, and yeah, that's right. In his prime, he could have smelled a whatever deer, bird, two miles away at least. <laughs> that's impressive. And that's exact. Plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including two soldiers and a sailor team up to do some craft 